I need to put this board on. All aboard! Okay, I did a little sanding on this to smooth out the top side of it a little bit. I've also taken out a lot of these very dramatic little peaks. It just still has some peaks in it, but they're not as dramatic as they were. It's uh, more mellowed. I just smoothed out the curves a little bit. I also prepped the front end of this by a light sanding. And uh, let's get on this thing. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power grab the front end of this piece of wood here. I'll show you when I get it on there. Okay, I've got some power grab on here. I'm just gonna smooth it around a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't make it too thin to stick this foot, this piece, this first piece is only eight foot. So I'm gonna have to cut another piece to put into there. Okay, that piece is up there. I've got them clamped up for now. What the other fella used, it's all level on the bottom and on one side over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to run some sheetrock screws in the sheetrock screws have threads closer down to the head here so i can since this piece of wood on the bottom is only uh, a half inch thick i need every all the bike that i can get just to tighten them and i'll probably take those back out he took his back out and filled the holes before he painted let me get some screws put in here while it's setting up Okay, I've pre-drilled another set of holes. I got some in the lower end. Now I'm going to put some up closer to the tight, up in this uh, three-quarter inch plywood, as close as I can get up. Try to keep it out of the foam. Let me put those screws in now. Now the last piece of this before it all dries up is melding this top edge in with some sculpta mold. And then once it dries up, it hardens that front edge up pretty good. Okay, everything else is looking pretty good. Let me get some old sculpt mold ready. Okay, I got my sculpt mold in, and boy, when that hardens up, that'll hold this uh, into place pretty, pretty nicely, along with that glue on the wood. That looks pretty good. Now all I do is touch up, touch up paint that edge, but I, without getting too much on this right here. So yeah, it's either way it was gonna be tough. But I think when I do that, I'll pull all these screws out and fill the holes if it's good and tight. And then uh, finish this edge here to get it out. I did get this other piece made for the end and glued on and, and all my uh, sculpting mold put in. That whole area has now been done, and you, as you see, I've protected the face as best I can because I'm getting ready to colorize this and blend it in. We'll see how that's going to work, but everything's looking good. Let me go ahead and get some black on this. I'll just show you. You, you know the coloring sequence, and I'll go ahead and do this and show you when I get done. Okay, the front fascia has been dried up for 24 hours. Pulled all the screws back out, and I uh, filled them all with wood filler, and they're gonna have to dry here, and then I'll sand them smooth. Then that front edge will look really nice. This thing blended in pretty well. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I think it looks all right. And uh, I may tap over it with a little gray on the tops a little bit but again that's going to get a lot of vegetation and stuff over it anyway this back fascia board now that side one's going to be a little tougher because it's going to be in one piece all the way down and i don't really know what i'm going to have down at the other end down here yet i know it'll start up here at this level but it's going to be tapering all the way down 
until it gets to the height of the track above the uh, foam, um, well, the height of this, the foam track bed that'll be down the other end. Hey, the boss man has spoken. I got uh, approval from little man. He likes the dark gray. And this is some low stuff. I'm going to put the eggshell on here. Okay, got a smooth roller. And I got my gray. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, that gray is on there. And I like it. A little contrast with the back. It's not totally black. But... I think it looks good. We're gonna go with that. While I was on my touch-up painting here around these edges, I went ahead and uh, made me my rough asphalt road in here. It's an old asphalt road that went up to the side of this mountain at one time. And uh, hey, I'm finally gonna use one of their products that uh, I had some left over. And I'm going to go ahead and get this asphalt put down on top of this uh, sculpt mold. I molded this kind of holy asphalt road in. Then I'm going to weather it a little bit. And I, I don't know which website, which, which guy's place it was, but he was talking about these asphalt roads when you put that Woodland Scenics asphalt on it. looks shiny, and it does. doesn't look like a... I want a dirty asphalt road, so I'm going to try. A little bit of this he used it as a weathering powder so well unless you have it I wouldn't waste my money on no grout to do that <laughs> as much as that grout cost and uh, eh, to do you can get the same thing out of some get some uh, clay dust just some kind of little dust and sprinkle it on there and rub it in it knocks the sheen off of that black stuff it looks it looks for me it looks it looks all right also a little update on my sprayers. All my little sprayers from China file, uh, failed. So I had to resort to a paintbrush and you can see the, the difference of this thing. It just has, it has a more shiny look to it than spraying it that has a more dry texture to it like that. And I like the dry texture better. So I went ahead and just touched up with the brush as much as I could and uh, started. My wife had these expensive bottles and uh, they're fine mist sprayers, mixed the paint in it. And these things came out fine mist, but when you started spraying it, you find that right down the middle of it was a, a no area. It was like a fine mist in a circle. And when you, you go to spray that on there and then you got the center parts not getting any paint so these were a bust so back to amazon and the ones that i showed you earlier uh, when i was doing that they don't make them no more but these are still available on amazon and i'm trying them out and the first thing i wanted to do was they look the exact same as the other ones. So these should still be the exact two ounce sprayers. Well, two pack 60 milliliter, two ounce sprayers, I think they're called, and uh, they're fine. So I did get me four more bottles to, to go. It was like 12 bucks for four more bottles. But that'll help me finish dusting up some of this and make it look look better. I know a lot of this is going to get covered, but for a long time, this is going to look just like this. Uh, it's going to look like this for a, for a bit until I get some more of that vegetation and some other things on there. So I'll just constantly just pack the paint on it. As I see a spot, I'll just kind of fix it and uh, I'll go from there. I think the gray worked out well and the road's done. <laughs>